Hello America, this is Tamara. My name is Tamara Majarian and I'm cooking for you today. Today we're going to make a sandwich and it's going to be a little fancy schmancy but just fancy enough to impress your friends. I promise it's going to be really easy. So let's list off the ingredients. First we have not a baguette but a batard. A batard is like a baguette but it's shorter and wider. So I think it makes for a great sandwich. I've toasted that in the oven. I left the inside of the bread filling in, but I'm going to remove that in just a moment. I'll tell you why I do that in just a sec. Next, we have some boneless skinless chicken breasts that I just sauteed in the pan using a very wonderful seasoning. It's this organic, spicy, and sweet, salt-free seasoning, and I love this because then I get to really control my sodium, and I'm a big fan of that. Next, we have some arugula. Reggiano Parmesan, some citrus and vegetables from my little side salad, because I always make a side salad, and our organic... Okay, so first off, <coughs> I'm going to take the inside of this bread out. The reason I like to leave it in while I'm toasting it is so I can create two separate textures in the bread. Now I have a soft on the inside, and I have this crispiness on the outside, and it's going to create a little pocket also, so the dressing will get in there really good. So just take that out real quick. And the thing with these chicken breasts is really simple. <coughs> I just saute them in the frying pan. Actually, I use a skillet. And you use that dry rub there, that seasoning. A little bit of salt. And throw it in a Ziploc baggie and just let it sit there for a few minutes. Take it out, saute it, take it out, and cut it up like we're about to. Okay, so that's all done. Just going to set that aside. Let's get this chicken breast. Oh, let me not forget to tell you, I took some of this Reggiano Parmesan and I shaved it on top of these breasts so they're nice and just a little gooey on top. I'm going to cut these at a bias, which is at an angle, and get a few slices out of each breast. Now, I personally like to cook mine on the stove top real quick. Of course, you can use roasted chicken for this or whatever. But the Parmesan goes really well with this arugula. And it's just delicious. So, let's talk about this spread that I made. It's really simple. It's just mayonnaise and mustard mixed together. And a little splash of balsamic vinegar. Now, I've put some of that on top of this chicken breast also when I was sautéing it. I didn't add it to, this, to the Ziploc baggie. I just put it on top of the chicken as it was cooking. Okay, so that's done. I'm going to set that aside. Now, let's take this bread back. We're almost done here, you guys. This is so easy. Here's that spread I was talking about. I'm just going to mix it up. Now, again, this is just balsamic vinegar, Dijon, mustard, and mayonnaise. And I lied to you. There's a little bit of dried basil in here. Just a little bit of cayenne pepper because I like to give it a kick. So, important to get both sides of the bread dressed. <coughs> Don't ever just do one side. A big secret about sandwiches is the way you stack them and the way you layer them. I promise. You can take the same ingredients and make a sandwich, just arrange them items differently, and I promise you one's going to taste better and different. Okay, so let's just spread that on there. Now, let's throw that away. First goes on the chicken. We're going to put it on the bottom side. Okay. And this chicken's still a little warm, which is great because then when I put that arugula on top, it's going to get nice and just a little wilty. Okay. Another trick is how you stack your meat. You should always stack it. If it slices like this, you should stack it in layers like so. Make it easy to eat, not just pretty to look at, but also easy to eat. So I think stacking it like this is great. Kind of like each bite gets a piece of chicken. Okay, and then we'll just have a little pocket back here. I'm just going to shove that in there. It's going to be fantastic. Okay, so next we're going to go ahead and add this arugula. These are whole leaves of arugula. I'm just going to chop them down a little bit because, again, I like to make my sandwiches easy to eat, not just look pretty. It's going to be very practical about the actual way it's going to go inside. I'm going to put that inside the pocket of the other piece of bread. Okay, don't worry if you make a little mess. That's what dogs are for. Just kidding. All right. Next, we're going to take a little bit of the field green, just a little bit, so that there's a little balance with that pepper to make it And see, just a little bit there. Put 
spread on top. Now, if you feel like this is a little too dry and you don't want to add more of that spread, if you're watching your calories or you just don't like it in general, you can add some citrus to it. That's what I'm going to do because I think it's just a little dry. Okay, so let's do that. Now, we're going to remove all the stuff we don't need. Okay, I have some Regional Parmesan here, and I'm just going to shave a little bit extra on the top of it. Okay. So it's kind of like having a little salad on one side. And let's not forget our wonderful jalapenos. I don't think I mentioned those earlier. Pardon me. You don't have to put jalapenos on yours, but I personally like to kick it up a notch, so that's what I'm doing. Now, caramelized onions are going to go, these are red caramelized onions. I put just a little bit of balsamic vinegar on them, put my saute pan on low, covered it, and walked away for about 10-15 minutes. Then I added a little bit of salt. So normally I cut these down just a little bit, but for the purpose of this camera, I'd like to show you it in big chunks. I think it'll look better. Okay. Now, tomato's optional. I personally don't like the tomato, but I'll show you how pretty it looks with the tomato. I'm going to cut them in super thin slices. Super thin slices. These are almost translucent. Okay. Just enough, like a little sliver. There we go. Put that on the other side. Okay, and you're going to stack those separately. You don't want to overlap tomatoes because, trust me, it's never, never easy to eat. Okay. So let's clean that up real quick. I'm back. All right. Now let's make a little side salad, and we're almost done. I'm just going to put that in front of you here like that, open face for a minute, so you can see how beautiful it is. Now what do I always do? If you watch my episodes, you know I always do cucumber and tomato. So here I go again. Not even going to use any oil in this salad dressing. I'm not going to use salad dressing. I'm just going to use a little bit of lime juice because this, the sandwich has so much flavor. The salad doesn't really need much. Just a little bit of freshness. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay. Now, like I've said before, there's 101 ways you can cut a tomato, and 10 people will tell you 10 different ways to do it. I like my tomatoes small and small diced for my little salad, so that's how I do it. Other people like wedges, some people like a large dice. This is how I like it for this particular little salad. Now, almost done. Let's get that lime out. Okay. I squeeze the lime right onto it, just like that. Whatever clings to it, clings to it. Whatever doesn't, doesn't. That's all that's going to go on there. Just like that. Toss it up. Clean it up. And let's get our plate out because we're ready to plate. Alrighty. Let's get that on there. And you know, it adds a little bit more color to the plate. So kill me. I love cucumbers and tomatoes. Alright, let's flip that over real quick. Voila. Can you hear that crunch? Oh, I love it. All right. I'm going to cut this on the bias, which means that I make it. I'm going to the legs okay. on that. So after we've cut our sandwich, we're just going to put it on the plate. There we have it. And enjoy.